know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. I want you to write this down. Your parentage determines the battles you will fight. Your parentage will determine the battles you will fight. Parentage simply means where you come from, who birthed you, who bore you. It also means your forefathers, where you came from. You know, Anabam Kuru and the like. And there are some things that maybe you might not see in your father direct. But you see the Munana Baumkuru. Because some things can skip some people, but you see those problems in other people within the same lineage, though. Are you listening? So, it matters who bore you, it matters where you came from. If the children of Israel's forefathers did not go to Egypt, there would have been no need for them to deal with the Red Sea. Are you understanding? There are things that you deal with that others don't have to deal with because of your parentage. So you need to continuously check your parentage. What is my family tree like? What are the problems in my family tree? What are the character traits? Without being defensive, you've got to look at those things with a view of correcting them in your own life and in the lives of your children and so on. Lamentations chapter number 5, very powerful scripture. It says in verse number 7, our, four, our, our fathers sinned and are no more. In other words, they are dead. But we bear their iniquities. So the iniquities do not die with the forefathers. They have to be dealt with separately. You find most times when a witch dies, they pass on the baton to the next generation. So you can have a whole family of witchcraft. So you must be diligent in looking at your family tree. Be very critical. Be very critical. Don't be emotional when you look at your family tree. Don't be emotional, don't be defensive. Are you listening? You know, there are couples who even in this church have had fights about manifestations. You know, one actually starts accusing the other and saying, ah, can you remember the problem? Akuna kusina my problem. Akuna, there's nothing like that. Are you understanding me? That is just a, 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 a defensive mechanism. And you must remove that defensive mechanism and be very, very real with yourself. So our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear the iniquities. What a scripture. Hallelujah. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, what did your fathers do you? you, you? John chapter number 9. If you do not even know your fathers, you need to pray every one of these prayer points. Because you have no idea. Are you listening to me? I'm trusting God that in this church we're going to rewrite the family history. We're going to fix the family trees. We are going to start a new order in our families. Can somebody say a new order? 
in John chapter number 9, we see something powerful there. It says in verse 1, Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. He was now a man, but was blind from birth. Let's take him to be 30 years old. So he was blind for 30 years. He was born blind. He had never seen anything. If you say to him, Red, he didn't know what you're talking about. Can you see that? So this man was born blind. Now, I want you to write this down. What was I born with? In other words, born with a heart disease. Born with the problem of bones. Born, born with poverty embedded in you. This is a serious prayer point. What was I born with? There are things you were born into, but there are things you were born with. This man was born blind. He was born what? Blind. So you've got to seriously check what were you born with. Please believe me. This is important. Verse 2. And the disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind. So the disciples knew that there is a spiritual cycle that the sins of the forefathers can cause you to be born with something. You can be born with defects. This now opens us, our minds up and tells us that there are things that are not your fault. But they still have to be dealt with. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say so it's not my fault. But I must still deal with it. Amen. Alright. So who sinned? So I want you to write this down. I must deal with the consequences of the sins of my forefathers. There are some things that you can see that are consequence of the sins, but you just cannot connect the two. Write this down. I must fight the negative patterns in my family. You must fight them. There's a family where every man in that family, when he, came, when, he, when he came to 25 years old, he became blind at 25. It was automatic. 25. So by the time he's 22 years old and he knows the cycle, he knows he only has three more years to see. When you, when you see some of these families with negative cycles, like the spirit of death, uh, you know, in some families it's so pronounced, eh? that you know they will tell you that every october somebody has to go and uh, you know and it, it goes first born second born third fourth it go, go in a row ga, 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 ga. and you find that by the time that maybe three of the guys have died in the family the fourth born now he knows that it's approaching october he starts to drink himself silly he starts to be careless with his life he surrenders to the curse so you must never surrender to the curse. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Now, one of the most rampant curses in Africa is the spirit of rise and fall. The spirit of rise and fall. And you must deal with that spirit. You must deal with that spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. When we were coming over to church, my wife was just commending one of our daughters here in the faith and saying she has really broken through considering where she came from. And she began to explain how the grandmother was not married. The mother was not married. She got married. Are you understanding? Right? So there was no, there was no men seen in that house where she came from. Just women. Making a lot of noise. No men to be found there. Hmm? so she got married she had a wedding that means she broke through somebody say broke through 
Say it again. Say broke through. So you've got to break through that family cycle. You must break through it. Think about it. Break through that cycle because you are getting older. Rutokura. You can't continue like this. You've got to break through. You've got to break that cycle. I want you to write this down. Destroying the cycle of profitless hard work. This is a serious issue. Water, please, my friend. It's a very serious issue. Profitless hard work. Is that the only one it's too cold? Say profitless hard work. Okay, it must be broken. Hallelujah. And then I'll show you another scripture. We're going to pray. Colossians chapter number 2. And I want you to deal with this as well. Colossians 2. There are what are called family rules. Family rules. It's too cold, Marshall. Family rules. What are the written laws of your family? They are written family laws. That this one must not excel. Or, or there are no people who excel in this, in this family. You find sometimes uh, you are doing deliverance and a spirit will speak and say, Murudire uta abudire. Jagambo itka kupi murimunum. So in other words, the, the rule of that family is no prosperity. It's a written law. There are things written in the realm of the spirit. All right, look at this. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 14. He says, having wiped out the handwritings of ordinances or requirements that was against us, what are the requirements of your family that are against you? requirements. In other words, it's like your family is paying a continuous spiritual debt. There are people who never break through in life. I'll tell you why. It's because there's a debt that is being paid spiritually. These are the people who you ask, Am I talking to somebody? So it could be that you know, there is a requirement that a spiritual debt is supposed to be paid. And it's so frustrating because it's not that you are not trying, you are trying. You are hustling. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> okay? Despite your everyday hustle, why are you not breaking through? There could be a requirement. Now, look, look, let's read it again. He says, having wiped out handwritings of requirements that was against us, huh? which were contrary to us, contrary, family rules contrary to success, family rules contrary to progress, family rules contrary to joy, contrary to joy. So, Whatever the family rules are that are contrary, you have to break those rules. Hallelujah. And even in your prayer, I want you to address the realm of the spirit. That yes, these things can happen to others, but it's not for me, no. I command divine exemption over this family rule in the name of Jesus. You know, I never realized, you can go and check it if you like, in, in Genesis 35, I think it is, that uh, you find that Abraham slept with the maid. Huh? But Jacob also did the same thing. Eh? In fact, he had two children by the maid. Two maids. Kama zanda la mahaya. That's a serious cycle. Eh? Is that a hidden one? Yeah, so, you know, you can say, ah, how could my father do that? Uh -huh. It skipped Isaac. Oh, guy is coming to you. You will sleep with the helper. So, you've got to fight these things. Hallelujah. 
In the same way we had not seen that in the scriptures, huh? there are hidden cycles that you have not seen in your family. Write this down. Lord, reveal hidden spiritual cycles in my family. Ask the Lord to reveal those things. Not everybody who's poor was always poor. Once upon a time, they had money like you. So never allow the fact that you are up today make you arrogant. Because the Amalekites you will contend with all the days of your life. There are people with all the qualifications and they have no jobs. Why? They are just fulfilling a family law that says you are not supposed to rise. Or, or you are supposed to rise but eventually you must fall. We will fight these cycles. I said we will fight these cycles. I decree we will fight these cycles. I want you to write this down. I must deal with the demonic powers enforcing these curses. There are demonic powers that enforce these curses. They enforce the curses. So they must be dealt with ruthlessly. I also want you to write this down. I must deal with the family strong men. The family strong men. Just like there's a national strong man, there's a regional strong man, there's also a family strong man. Are you understanding? There's a family strong, there's a Makuja strong man assigned particularly to that family and he has got to be disarmed. Look at this in verse 14. He says, having disarmed principalities and powers. Can you see that? So there, there are principal demons, strong men in your family, that must be disarmed. Disarmed means that you've got to remove his weapons and take his weapons from him. I see you taking the weapons from the strong men in the name of Jesus. I said, I see you taking those weapons in the name of Jesus. You must disarm him in the name of Jesus. So you can spend a whole night disarming the strong man. Disarm him. Write this down. I must disarm him of his trusted weapons. He has trusted weapons. Weapons that are strategically assigned against your life. Praise the name of the Lord. I must fight the power. Write this down. The power of inherited problems. Inherited problems. I must fight them. I must use all my weapons that I am taught on this platform. Hallelujah. I, I said to the Lord, Lord, we, you know, we were praying here for years. I mean, we just used to do Sunday service and whatnot. Maybe one midweek. And, 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 and I said to the Lord, we were praying for years. Why did these demons not, not manifest? Why didn't they manifest? Let, 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 if I call out your name, I want you to respond, yeah? I say, Mike? Right? Did he respond? Uh, if I say, Brian? Did he respond? Okay. But notice that before I was talking, and he didn't respond, hmm? the Lord said, you were preaching, you were teaching, but you didn't confront so they didn't respond. So many people will say, "Ah, in any, you know, I'll, I'll just be in a, in a church, you know, these spiritual things." Ah, it's, and it's not that you don't have. It's not that Mike is not here. It's not Brian. It's not that Brian is not here. He's here, but he has not been confronted. Did, did you did you gain that understanding? So, so, and, and watch this. You've seen the pattern that when somebody starts to really pray seriously, that's when they start to manifest. And I couldn't understand that until the Lord explained to me that, no, it is because there were, there were serpents that were sitting there comfortable until the fire was lit up, X28. Are you understanding? When, the, when that bundle of, of wood was put in the fire, 
and, and, and the fire began to burn, that's when the serpent came out. So, so, so when you start seriously praying, it would look like your life is getting worse. Am I helping somebody to understand? It will look like, in fact, you can even start praying seriously and lose your job. Oh, you, don't, you don't understand. If, <laughs> you can start to really be aggressive and lose some assets. Hello? Hello? Because the, that power, it wants to convince you that you are doing the wrong thing. Because it knows if you continue like this, you will abolish that power. I see you abolishing these powers in your life in the name of Jesus. I said, I see you conquering these powers in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. First Timothy chapter 6, verse number 12, just write it down. He says, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. So, so, so churches that don't fight, I don't understand. Because the Bible is a book of warfare. In fact, he calls us soldiers in the army of the living God. If there's no war, why do you need a soldier? So there's some pending battles that must be fought by you and I. These are called destiny battles. Write that down. Destiny battles. Every spiritual battle you fight is linked to your destiny. Am I helping somebody? Every spiritual battle you fight is linked to your destiny. Is linked to your destiny. Praise the name of the Lord. You must fulfill your destiny. And you must fight to fulfill your destiny. Every seed you sow is towards your destiny. You are taking steps towards your destiny. And the Lord said, said remind them that even if you are praying and you are not seeing results, understand that every prayer you pray, you are banking it. You've got to understand that there's, there's something called the prayer bank. One day I'll ask Pastor Chipese to teach on that. Because the, some prayers you pray, they go into the, 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 what do they call the golden incense. These things are in the Bible. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody say, I must fight my battles. Say it again. Say, I must fight my battles. Alright, so, so sometimes people get tired of praying. They don't understand that you're actually banking some prayers. Because when you're really, really stressed, you can't pray. So what do you depend on? You depend on the prayers that you prayed when things were okay. So that tells me that when I'm okay, it doesn't mean I should switch off. Hello? I must still pray and bank those prayers. Some of the prayers, your children will need those prayers. If you study in the book of Psalm 72, I think it is, David prayed for Solomon. Amen. Amen. So some prayers, you are praying them today, but they will be needed 20 years from now by your children. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, prayers never die. Prayers. Say it again. Say, prayers never die. I want you to write this down. I must fight for my marital destiny. Your marriage is destined to flourish. But it will not happen automatically. You will have to fight. You will have to fight. Somebody say fight. You will have to fight to fulfill your marital destiny. And many times we just fight about financial issues. But you must also fight for the sake of your marital destiny. I see you fulfilling your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus. I said I see you fulfilling your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, praise the name of the Lord. I said, praise the name of the Lord. Write this down. I must fight my mother's demon. I must fight my father's demon. You hear the silence? <laughs> they, they, they know it, but they don't want to talk about it. I'll give you 30 seconds. Ask your neighbor, what is your mother's demon asking? <laughs> Some of you, your mother's demon is that your mother talks too much. What is, what is your father's demon? Or if he's late, what was his demon? 
Tafura ya gara katsuka. <laughs> and that's all you saw growing up. <laughs> Some of you, your, your mother's demon was, was evil consultation. <laughs> if your father used to beat your mother, that is your father's demon also. And as much as you hated it, if you don't deal with it, you will beat also. No, I'm nice. I'm telling you. You can become the thing you hate. And you're wondering, you're asking yourself, why am I doing this? I don't like it, but you're doing it. Mm? Yeah. Or you can do it without noticing. Is, is this helping anybody? Church, we've got to hit these things hard. Then finally, I want you to write this down. Then we're going to pray. What is the largest sum of money your father ever got? What is the biggest asset that your father ever bought? Hear yeah, the silence. Maybe you just bought a bicycle. <laughs> I said bicycle. What's the wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I want to just a bicycle. I want to be like a hip. You choir girls, you are laughing too much for my liking. So, what is the largest sum of money your father ever got? Did he amass any wealth? And even if you have started to amass, you must be careful if your father did not amass. Because whatever stopped him from amassing wealth is still in the family and dealt with. Praise the name of the Lord. Watch out for the trap of temporary relief. Where you pray, you pray, 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 and then you stop because you've received some small, small relief from the demonic forces. You have to keep hitting hard until you conquer them. Are you listening to me? Ask Daniel Yangorua Shumba Mbama in this place. No, we want to destroy that power. Can somebody say I must destroy that power? Praise the name of the Lord. Also, I want you to fight this thing called um, dream attacks. Dream attacks. It's something that the Lord said that we must also just deal with. Continuously check in a particular season what kind of dreams are you having? What kind of dreams are you having? And if you're having attacks in your dreams, you've got to confront that also spiritually. Praise the name of the Lord. We are in a season where we are going to start conquering seriously. And we will begin to see some serious results. We will deal with our family tree seriously. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to pray this morning and just deal with a few issues. And then I'll let you go. Lift up your right hand to heaven if you can. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today I pray. I ask you, Lord, to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wash me by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that your strong hand is upon us as we go into spiritual warfare. Let us be protected by the power in the blood of Jesus, I saturate myself, my environment, 
with the blood of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I receive the power of the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me, Lord, from all unrighteousness. I ask you to forgive me of any and all sin in my life. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Now, Father, I pray that you would strengthen me for battle as I confront spiritual enemies in my life. Give me the grace to conquer those enemies in the name of Jesus. Strengthen my hands for war. Strengthen my feet for war. Like David said, you teach my fingers to war. You teach my hands to battle. I thank you, Father, even for the things that I am learning in this place. Give me the grace to conquer family spirits, powers of darkness that have operated in my family for many, many years. Father, grant me the grace to be the repairer of the breach. Help me, Holy Spirit. I need your help so I can conquer demonic powers that have been in my family for years and years in the name of Jesus. Now today, oh Lord, come on, let's pray. Say, now today, oh Lord, I fire back every evil arrow from family idols. I fire it back into the enemy's camp in the name of Jesus. Every power of my father's house, contrary to my destiny, I declare and I decree that power must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every evil power from my mother's house, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Such powers that threaten my success, that threaten my, my, my progress, I destroy those powers by the hand of Jehovah in the name of Jesus. I wage an attack upon every, divine, upon every satanic enemy from my mother's house that would lift up his head against my rising. I wage a war against that power in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree, let God arise. Let the enemies of my destiny from my father's house, from my mother's house, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hidden curses in my family, may they be broken in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, clapping your hands, because we need to destroy these powers. We need to destroy them. Oh, Zama Shatama Zikalamahaya. Every family rule, contrary to my success, today I decree in the realm of the spirit that rule must be broken today in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if that rule has been there in my family for thousands of years. Today, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I break that rule in the realm of the Spirit. Open your mouth. You are breaking rules of poverty. You are breaking rules of hardship. You are breaking rules of stagnation. You are breaking rules of divorce. You are breaking rules of non-achievement. Say, whatever is written of me, written of my family, in the volume of the books, which is negative, which is contrary to my destiny, today, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I blot it out as I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I blot out that evil law that says I must not rise. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. There's something that affects every family. This one is the most frustrating. This is failure at the edge of breakthrough. It is a written law that you are supposed to fail at the edge of the breakthrough. We're going to break that power. Oh, your amen is paralyzed. I said we're going to break that power. Because there are so many break, uh, pending breakthroughs here. That must, be, that must happen. That must happen. In the next three days, there are pending breakthroughs that must happen. But we've got to destroy that satanic law that says no when you're about to break through. Lift up your right hand. Shout, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I confront that foul spirit that causes failure at the edge of breakthroughs as I pray now in the Holy Ghost clapping my hands I destroy that spirit 
from my mother's side, from my father's side. Open your mouth and destroy that spirit. Confront it. It's called the ministry of confrontation. We confront things, confront them. Father God, arise. There's a power at the edge of my breakthrough. Arise, oh Lord. Scatter that power at the edge of my breakthroughs. Open your mouth. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Say powers from the water. Withholding breakthroughs. Powers from the water. Withholding breakthroughs. Powers from the water. Swallowing breakthroughs. I command you. Release by fire. Release by fire. Release by fire. Release by fire. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. That this time around. I will not miss my breakthrough. Every pending breakthrough. In my life. I command. A release by fire, by force. Open your mouth and pray. Ah, name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command a supernatural release of my pending breakthroughs. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There must be a release. 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 Be a release. For the last time, shout in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release fire at the door of my breakthroughs. Fire of God. Destroy every power hindering my breakthroughs right at the door. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Young men sitting at the door of my breakthroughs. Hear the word of the Lord. Release the breakthroughs by fire. By force, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I demand a release. Open your mouth and demand a release. Demand a release. Demand a release. Demand a release. Church, you've got to be aggressive. Shout, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare and I decree, every pending breakthrough that will lift me up into a place of prominence, I command those breakthroughs to be released into my hands in the name of Jesus. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I insist on a release of my breakthroughs. Open your mouth and insist. Insist, 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 insist. There must be a release. Come on, open your mouth. There must be a release. We command a release. We are commanding a supernatural release. Lord is telling me there are powers that challenge your breakthroughs. We want to confront those powers. Shout in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I confront spiritually every satanic power challenging my breakthroughs. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. And I'm a satalamahaya. Passage, please help me. Please. You know, the Lord opened my eyes. You know, D David says, I was young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging for bread. And the Lord said to me, You should not, be have, you should not have to beg for contracts. We want to destroy the power that makes you beg for work, beg for contracts, that you have to say please several times or seven times before something happens. Are you understanding me? So that power that makes us get into a desperate position, we want to break that power. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Shout, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy we Ghost. We break the shackles. We break the shackles. Of that begging spirit. Of that begging spirit. David said, David said I, was young, I was young. Now I'm old. Now I'm Yet old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Never have I seen the righteous No, they forsaken. sit beg for bread. That, that they sit break for from bread. Today, from today, going forward, for going forward, I do not have to beg, I don't have to beg for, resources, for resources, for contracts, for, contracts, for, work. for work. Let it just come, Let it come without me begging for without it. Me begging I for destroy it. the power. That causes us to beg. Open your mouth and pray. Pray and break the spirit of delay. Hallelujah. Delayed breakthroughs are frustrating. We want to break that power of the spirit of delay. Lift up your right hand. Say every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. 
that is causing delays that is causing delays to the manifestation to the manifestation of god's blessing of god's blessing today today that power that power it must be destroyed it must be destroyed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say father today father today i make a commitment i make a commitment to walk in right standing to with walk you walk in right standing with you any area in my life any area in my life that does not please you that does not please you father i pray father i pray that you would address that you would address supernaturally, supernaturally that area that area grant me the grace grant me the grace to walk right to walk right. grant me the grace grant me the to grace walk in the righteousness, walk in righteousness of god of god forgive all sins forgive all, forgive sins. all iniquities forgive all iniquities father i pray father i that pray you'd continue that you continue to to wash us to wash and us. Cleanse, us cleanse us with the blood of Jesus, the blood of that, Jesus. We may be that we may be spotless, spotless without, blemish, without blemish as we stand before as you we stand before so you. that Lord that so we Lord, do not have to beg we don't have to beg. our children don't have to beg our children don't have but to the beg. favor of God but the favor will, of be God upon us. will be upon us as we pray now as we pray now with our hands lifted up the hands lifted, we decree we decree every delay every delay that has been assigned that has been assigned against our lives against our lives no more delays no more delays in the name of Jesus in the name today, of Jesus today as I lift my hands as up, I lift my hands I take up, delivery, I take of, delivery the breakthroughs of the breakthroughs that have been delayed that has been for, delayed a long time. for a long time. In the name of Jesus, in the name of lift Jesus. up your hands and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ibo begin to pray. Da, da, da. Now I decree over your life, may you walk in divine favor. Amen. Everywhere you go, I decree men will favor you. Amen. Believers will favor you. Amen. Unbelievers will favor you. Amen. May God position you for the wealth transfer. Amen. May He put you in a position where wealth has got to be transferred to you. Amen. May resources come into your hands. Amen. May the hand of the Lord come upon your life. Amen. May grace and mercy be your portion. Amen. May goodness and mercy follow you. Amen. May you experience supernatural favor. Amen. May you experience supernatural dominion. Amen. May you experience favor on every side. Amen. I decree that today is a day of favor. Amen. Today is a day of settlement. Amen. May God settle you, Kozina Lamahaya. I decree God will settle you some issues that have been pending for a long time. Receive divine settlement in the name of Jesus. Some deals you've been waiting for for some time, I decree you will sign and seal them off in the name of Jesus. Resources you've been waiting for, I decree they will find their way into your hands in the name of Jesus. I prophesy it upon your life. I decree real estate must come in your direction in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May you amass more wealth than all your forefathers put together. May you amass more than all your forefathers put together. May unusual things happen for you that are in the positive in the name of Jesus. May the special grace of God come upon your life. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. May you be divinely protected. May no weapon formed or fashioned against you prosper. May you be safe and secure in the palm of his hand. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. No plague shall come near your dwelling place. I decree sickness and disease is not your portion. May you be healthy and may you be wealthy in the name of Jesus. May you be strong in the Lord. May you never backslide. May you never be fished out of the church by the enemy. May you remain in Zion in the name of Jesus. May you remain covered by God in the name of Jesus. May you remain under the spiritual cover. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May you be divinely protected. I release a cloud of glory upon your life. In the name of Jesus, wherever you go, people will want to do business with you. People will want to favor you people who want to just do good things for you may you attract good and not evil in the name of jesus and i dip you seven times in the blood of jesus you are blessed god bless you hallelujah amen amen what a wonderful session god bless we know that the grass withers and the flower fades but your word is eternal Unlocking your destiny